Hi everyone, so in this video I'm going to show you how to create a synth riser inside of GarageBand. You can use the synth riser effect if you want to create a nice tension before your drop. So I'm going to make you listen to the song that I created with the synth riser. Okay, so I'm just going to make you listen to the synth riser on its own. As you can hear, a synth riser is basically the pitch of a sound going up. So what I'm going to show you is how I did that. I'm going to delete the track. So the first thing that you're going to do is select a strong synth sound, okay? I've selected the soft saw lead. You can select any synthesizer that you want. Just make sure that it's really strong. It has a strong sound, not a soft synthesizer. Even if this one is called soft saw lead, it still has a strong sound. So what I'm going to do is click under the editor. And now I'm going to create a note. <laughs> I'm going to create this note right here. All right, so now what I'm going to do is go under Pitch Bender, make sure that this is selected, and now you're going to create a point like this. The point is created, create another one at the end, and then you can drag this point right here, like this, make a sort of hill. And now you have your synthesizer. it's really easy to do. So now let's listen to it all together. And another thing that you can do if you want to have a nice drop is that you can cut the synth riser before the last before the last bar before going into the fifth bar. So I'm going to select everything and then I'm going to click on command T and then I'm going to zoom in, take off the cycle mode and delete every single thing here so we can have a better drop. Now let's listen to it. So you can also use that technique if you want to create more tensions for your drop. So this is how you create a synth riser inside of GarageBand.